years ago, Mark and Hewitt bought this century home to raise their family in. Problem is, 10 years on, you start to see the cracks. This is our entranceway. Our floor is so crooked because this house is over 100 years old. We've gotten used to it. We barely even notice it anymore. <laughs> OK. Here's my office crammed in the corner, right beside a drafty fireplace. Can't you feel the draft coming in off of here? Perhaps my biggest pet peeve of this house is the upstairs washroom. The tile work, I don't understand it. The bathtub, there's jets and they don't work. These tiles get really slippery and you have to climb up the stairs to get into the bathtub. I'm surprised someone hasn't slipped by now. Our countertops are from the 80s. Our cupboards are falling apart. Easy fixes, no big deal. And the biggest eyesore of all is this fridge that just sits here. That's just a bit of rearranging, some new cupboards. There's nothing I can actually do to improve the problems in this house that are only getting worse. I see tons of possibilities here, no reason to go. You cannot replace a house like this. The bones are good, it just needs a little touch up and we'll make it just right for us. We need to cut our losses, put a for sale sign on our lawn and move on to better things. I kind of feel like I'm on a boat. Yeah, it's a little bit slanty, but it's an old a house. A little bit slanty? You can see everything seems like off a little bit. It's an old house. Look at this. I feel like I'm in a fun house. What Look is at, your problem? Look at the door. Look at the door. It's everywhere, too, everywhere you look. I've done a valuation on your home, and the current value is $1 million. What is the must-have list to get you out of this house? So we're looking for our house to have open concept living, dining, kitchen, three good-sized bedrooms, plus a den or a guest room, a large backyard with a garage, a finished basement, and a main floor powder room. The budget for the new house is $1.1 million. Tell me the list of what I can do in this house to convince you to understand how fabulous this is I want to stay. I need an open concept kitchen and dining room with an island, create an entryway with storage, replace the fireplace and change it to gas, and update the main bathroom. What's my budget? Your budget is $130,000. OK, so here's the thing. You never asked me to do anything about the issue of this house going in every other direction. Does that not matter to you? It matters. I just think that has to be done for the other things to work. So it's implied. <laughs> oh, I agree with all of your upgrades, and I would love to do those. And 130000 will absolutely cover them. And when I do that, you will love it. It still might not be level. If you want a level house, this is where you're going to get it. And when I find you that house, the only thing you're going to say about this one is listed. I can't really create a full-on entryway here. There just isn't the space, and I need to keep the flow. There is a very cool way to do room dividers that also allow light and give you the sense of continuation. We'll just keep the existing closet, and we'll do a bench. It gives it some presence, and it's practical. I like it. The main work is going to be in the existing kitchen and what was the dining room, bringing those together into one space. This existing kitchen is going to become the dining area. I need to get rid of this wall to create an open concept dining area. I'm going to add a banquette along this wall and that will give them extra seating. This is going to be our new kitchen with upper cabinets and lower cabinets. And I want the lower cabinets to wrap around. I would love to have a counter with a sink there. I'll give them a large island here. Oh, that's where the stove is going. And the fridge right over there. And that's why I need to keep that wall. Got it? Got it. The house right now is settling way more on this side than that side. Your house is built on top of what used to be a river. Really? Really. What does that mean for us? So the engineer knows we still want the open concept, and he will determine what our options are in terms of design. Do you know how many houses there are for sale in their neighborhood? Two and I'm showing one of them. This house used to be four bedrooms. It's now a three bedroom house. A huge walk-in closet, open concept on the main floor. Walk out to the backyard. Is it perfect? No, but it's like right around the corner. So how can I not show it to them? Wow. First thoughts. Does have a proper foyer, which is great. So when you say proper, that. you mean better than what you currently have? Yes. Your family space. Beautiful big window, lots of natural light coming in. Feels a bit tight in here. 
for some reason. It does still have that feeling like yeah. we're in the entrance. Because this would be sort of the family space on this level. Oh, so there is no There is no additional room. Oh. No additional living space. Yeah, that's tight then. And then we move on and you have main floor laundry. Oh. oh. No place really to do much with it. Okay, your eat-in kitchen with no wall, separating the dining rooms. Not a big fan of the dark countertops, or, you know, it'll feel a little dated. Everything kind of feels dated. Hey, the floors are level. <laughs> That's something. Come on up. Bedroom number one. Bedroom number two. Now, like your house, there is only one bathroom on the second floor. This is the main bath for upstairs, which is nice. It's spacious. You've got a nice deep tub. It's not blue and has steps to get into it. This is the main bedroom. It's very small. Has our, a bedroom? Our, yeah, our bedroom's much larger than this. We've got one more thing to look at. This. Mm. Wow. Now this is something. <laughs> this is a whole <laughs> lot of something. Yeah, this might be my favorite room of the house. Well done, David. Wow. Uh huh. Okay, so the last thing to see is the project, which is in the basement. You know what? I don't even need to see the basement. Okay. The main floor, it's just, it's not enough. What do you think this house is listed at? I'm gonna say $900,000. What do you think? $1,050,000. This house is listed at $1.1 million. There were some wins in this house beyond the neighborhood, but not nearly enough to have them finish off a basement. Remember the last time we met, we were talking about the structure. So it has to be fixed. And what does that involve? <laughs> will only cost $5,000. Oh, wow. Yeah. And his suggestion was that he also level this floor. And that was $10,000. $10,000 will definitely increase the value. So in the end, if we want to sell it, it'll definitely be easier if the floors are normal. It's such a big component of making this design work. Because I think we have to do this. This house is gorgeous. It's beautiful, it's modern, it's completely open concept. Huge kitchen, huge island, completely finished basement. Upstairs, great bedrooms for the kids, their own bathroom, and a main bedroom with a beautiful ensuite they will love. I love it. Let's see what they think. What do you think of the house? It looks new. Vaulted ceilings, as soon as you walk into it. Mm. Wow. Interesting. That's, oh. <laughs> that's unique. Main floor powder room. Let me just... Family room. Hmm. Looks really, really good. It's and a it, good it's, space. It, I like this leveling, like the different levels between all the spaces. Dining area and the eat-in kitchen. You've got a table for eight yeah, or just ten, whatever you want. Countertops are gorgeous, so... A big mm -hmm. undermount sink. A nice, clean, new kitchen. What do you think of these? Oh. <laughs> well... Huh? Oh, look at the smile on your face. <laughs> no, no, you're not. See, you just repressed it now. <laughs> don't repress the love. <laughs> Come on. That was cool. Do you it love is, it? I, I don't hate it. And the glass just kind of follows us all the way down to the basement. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the height down here, the natural light. Well, this is an awesome view. This is great. No, I like it a lot. We haven't even seen the second floor yet. Kids' bedroom number one. Wow. Not bad. Great size. Bedroom number two. Let's go see the main bedroom. Okay. Really good size. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I gotta look at this face. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a good size. This is your closet. Okay. That is your closet. Oh. 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 That is a nice surprise. Okay. Oh. Um... And then you have yours, which has the double doors. Okay, goodbye, everyone. If only you had seen her face. Exactly. Your bathroom. It's shower. not tiny, that's for sure. It's all right. It has pretty much everything we want. What do you think this house is listed at? $1.8 million. What do you think? I'm going to yeah. say $1.9 million. This house is listed at $1,350,000. Wow. Yes, it's over budget, but if you look at what you're getting here, it really delivers. No, I would have thought it was worth a lot more. So, do we need to look at any more houses? I don't think so. I think if there's one that's going to take us out of our current home, yeah. this is probably it. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, you're all smiles and excited? Very excited. 
You should be, because I am so excited by how this turned out as well. Can't wait to show you. Here we go. Hi. Oh, my gosh. Is this even our house? <laughs> So, of course, the floors are the next big change. Yeah. Not just how gorgeous these are, <laughs> but that they are um, level. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's they are oh, so yeah. level. Had you yeah, forgotten sure. that we already? Did. I did. I just couldn't I really take it did. all in. Yeah. It's level floors. Yeah. floors now let's doors. talk about this beautiful space. By anyone's standards, this is a lovely space to sit in. <sighs> I feel like I'm in a hotel. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's absolutely gorgeous. So you've got brand new windows. We have this gorgeous, understated fireplace here. It's modern, it fits our aesthetic. It yeah. looks great, I can't wait to see the kitchen. Gorgeous. This is yeah. a oh, kitchen yeah. where two people can cook together. Come and look at what we have. And then look behind you with your pantries. It looks, wow. Absolutely beautiful. You have double width pantry here, oh, and then you've got the slimmer one there. It's Your fridge is huge. You've got more storage above it. Something else. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to get too emotional, but <laughs> it's transformed. Absolutely. Come around here and look at this dining room area. Oh. This feels like a restaurant. Oh, my. It's Gorgeous. I I'm, can't believe it. Hillary. I feel like this is right. uh, spectacular. Well, we're blown away. I'm blown away. Like, I'm yes. speechless. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to look at the bathroom. Oh my goodness. This is not my house. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I don't know what to say. This is so nice. And this bathtub, my gosh. After a hard day's work, amazing. I mean, it's it literally is a hotel in here. You've got a double trough sink, and you've still got your own faucets, and you've got loads of storage underneath. It's a beautiful bathroom. It really is. It really is absolutely gorgeous. The new value of your house with the renovation that has wow. been done. Wow. <laughs> The pre-renovation value of this home was $1 million. With a final renovation budget of $144,000, the new value of this home is $1.3 million. That's an increase in value of $300,000. This main floor is to die for. This main floor is great, but we have to consider the whole house. <whistles> Quite the transformation. I think we know what direction we're going in. I think so. Yeah. Decision made? Yeah, I think okay, so. Yeah, we came to a decision. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We are going to list it. Woo! <laughs> there you go. There you go, huh? This aesthetically can't really be matched. Uh, it just is what mm -hmm. how we see ourselves it's living. Perfect. It really is. It's, the problem is it's just one floor is perfect. Yes, and yeah. we, need a, we need a few other floors to be. Perfect. Found the home that's going to work for you, and that's the main thing. So, yeah. congratulations. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you. all your hard work. Thanks so much. It was an absolute pleasure. All right, give me a call when you have to fix the house. <laughs> <laughs>